Hi, I'm Maria Peters, author of the Young Adult series Tooth Fairy Chronicles, and this week I thought I would talk to you about what um, computer systems I use to write my books from start to finish. So if you're interested, keep watching, and um, I'll show you through everything that I use. Now the first system I use is Scrivener. I've had this system for a while but not really used it that much. I tried quite a, um, a long time ago but I struggled when it came to downloading my files. I, I couldn't get them all in one file and it just downloaded by chapter and I threw a hissy fit and gave up completely. But I've decided to give it another try. Um, there are so many different features to it that I haven't explored but I'm using it to plot out my NaNoWriMo project. Now I'm a planter so I don't go into much detail but I found it really useful to note down my ideas for each chapter. As you can see I've got all my chapters listed down here and the highlighted sections are the Save the Cat Writes a Novel section so I can keep in mind where I am for each chapter, where I need to be within my story. I've really found that that Save the Cat Writes a Novel helps me when I'm plotting anything out. I've got the next two books there. I've got my main characters with their sketches of exactly where they need to be in the book. I've got my secondary characters and I've also got my main areas. So I've got in my head I know when I'm writing what each room looks like. I will be adding more to it as I go along. I'll also be using this as my series bible. This NaNoWriMo project is the first one of a trilogy so I can keep everything all together all plotted out in one section. It just makes the process that much easier. I know I used um, the Big Happy Planner for my Tooth Fairy Chronicles, but that was so much work and I'm hoping this system will keep everything together and be much more efficient. Now the second thing I use to actually write my books is Word, just simple. It's, a, it's the program that I'm most comfortable with and it's what I actually write my books in. So every time I have a new chapter I just do a new page break, head it up. I've tried Google Docs, as I said I've tried writing in Scrivener, that didn't work and this suits my style better. My editor also works from Word, so it means that when I've done my self-edits, I can just download it already in my Word document and it's sorted. Now, Vellum, I don't know whether you've heard of this one. You can only get this on Apple devices and it's quite expensive for the initial layout, but it's been invaluable when formatting my books and it will save me quite a bit of money in the long run. Um, so far I've formatted all three books using it and I haven't had to pay somebody else to do it. You just download your book and this will accept Word documents as well. You can see what each page looks like. You can put in all your additional information, your title page, your copyright, your dedication, then you can format it to exactly what you want. You can have your header and footer. You can put your name at the top with your book title. 
your page number at the bottom you can put your page number at the top there's so many different options and the best bit is when you upload it it uploads it into all the correct formats for you so you've got your apple books your generic epub google kindle so that will be on a mobi file you've got your print you can add in pictures you can add in your book covers everything is done for you and it takes a lot of the pressure off one last one i want to talk about is book brush i found out that they've created a system where you can create your own book covers so I usually do mine in 5x8 with cream paper 284 pages and then you can create your own book cover including spine room for your barcode I personally use Stone Ridge Books. Mandy Lynn is absolutely brilliant. She's been doing all of my book covers since I started and I love her work. But when I did the box set, I didn't want to pay out for a new book cover. So I just created something simple because the box set is only an ebook. I just created something simple, added in some text, and then when you scroll through each book, you've got Mandy's book cover within the actual body of the book. You can even do audiobooks, which is something that I'll be doing later on down the line. Well, I hope that helped you. If you use anything different, comment below. Um, or if you have any ideas on how I can improve my systems or any hints and tips on how to use Scrivener a bit better, please just don't be afraid to uh, drop me a note. But thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Bye.